Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Mel Campbell. I want to um, talk to you a little bit about what it's like to refuse to not give up. Um, believe it or not, Huffington Post wrote an article about 21 famous people who failed to give up. Imagine a world without a Albert Einstein, uh, who actually was an insurance salesperson who failed at that. Um, he failed his entrance exam uh, when he was 16 years old. Beyonce um, had a bad deal uh, with Columbia Records, um, and she didn't win Star Search. <laughs> <laughs> so now she's like 500 million. And of course, Bill Gates failed at, at one of the companies that he did. Charlton Chapman was one of the most poorest people um, in, in UK at, at the time. His father abandoned his mother when he was two years old. He's forced to work in a war, um, workhouse till he's 70 years old, at, at the age of 70 years old. Um, when he was nine, his mother was permanently committed to an insane asylum. Uh, he failed tons of times, yet became one of the famous comics ever. Colonel Sanders, man, I love you some KFC, you know, from time to time. Uh, throughout his life, he failed at every endeavor he did. When he was at the age of 65 years old, he set out with this famous chicken recipe with only a $105 Social Security check at the time. He attempted to sell it, and 1,900 restaurants rejected him. Think about Edison and how many times he failed at the light bulb. Think about Abraham Lincoln, one of my favorite presidents of all time. Read a story how many times he failed. Even Dr. Seuss uh, failed um, in terms of um, earning uh, his worth in the literary field. Um, at the time of his death, he sold over 600 million copies of his books in 20 different languages. Uh, really, really powerful. Fred Astaire, um, he lasted in the entertainment industry for over 76 years. Uh, he was rejected by Hollywood screen test. Think about Michael Jordan and the failure he had in, on his basketball team. Henry Ford, um, reading his story about uh, the transportation uh, issues that he had, and he still made it. Uh, and then Jim Carrey, um, who famously wrote um, a mount out of a check that he was going to get visualized and then one day got that check. Um, J.K. Rowling failed multiple times as well. Katy Perry, Keanu Reeves, let's look at these people. Oprah Winfrey, um, born to a single mother, living on welfare. Um, she was physically, mentally, and sexually abused during her childhood. Um, she ran away at 13 years old, um, got pregnant at 14 years old. Um, she did lose the baby um, after her birth. She was fired from her first first job for being unfit for television. Um, you think about these people. You think about what they all have in common. Uh, it is the fact that they did not let their failure get to them. Uh, I'm going to be on the stage um, with via webinar with comeback at the Comeback Champion Summit. You definitely want to check that website. I'll comeback champion summit dot com. Um, invite your friends. Uh, Go to the website, sign up, and think about um, what it's like to never give up. Uh, you know, I know in my life, um, I was talking with a friend today. I got my MBA in 15 months and worked, um, uh, you know, part time. It was very difficult to do. My PhD, my well, it's actually a side um, doctorate in psychology. Um, I worked full time. <laughs> and I still maintain the 3.9 GPA. I refuse to give up. You must refuse to give up. Um, just a few more uh, I wanna tell you that's kind of close to my heart about failures that never uh, gave up. Uh, Walt Disney and of course, uh, Sylvester Sloan. I don't know if you know anything about Sylvester Sloan's story. Um, at, he, he offered his movie script. They said, you know, you're not gonna be a part of this movie. And he says, yes, I am. Um, he, he was very broke when he was writing the script for Rocky and he was forced to sell his dog for $25 to turn the lights back on. Um, he was rejected by talent scouts over 1,500 times. Check the Huffington Post article, 21 famous failures who refuse to give up. Really, really powerful. Sylvester Sloan, Rocky series from him. And when I hear that Eye of the Tiger song, it pumps me up, it gets me going. You must have that spirit of never giving up. Join me at this Comeback Champion Summit and learn from those that learn from the failures. 
Um, my failures made me who I am. I am proud of my scars. I'm here today. I, I didn't think how I was going to get through some of the times I've been through, and I'm still talking to you right now on this camera. So as you know, I'm a psychologist and motivational speaker. I've studied the art and the science of people who have not refused to give up. Be one of those people. So we'll see you later. Thank you so much for listening to this webinar today. Share it with your friends. Uh, let's go out there and be unstoppable. Thanks, everyone.